This section explains how to select a performer. To select a performer, click on the performer, or by dragging a rectangle around the performer. For the sake of illustration, we will keep the performer fixed in 2D and hide the model. When multiple performers are selected, you will see a pink triangular arrow like this. This arrow indicates the order of selection. For example, if you select the performer in this way, the arrow will lead to trumpet 1 to 5, and if you select the performer in the opposite order, the arrow will lead to trumpet 5 to 1. Different selection orders change the direction of the arrows. There are many tools that change the result of the selection order. First of all, remember that selections are made in a certain order. Use this tool for selection. There are three different selection tools and three different selection modes. Rectangular selection is a rectangular selection tool. Lasso selection selects the inside of the area you drag around. Unlike other selection methods, the order of the selection is often broken because the selection is made all at once. Drag selection allows you to select performers in order by tracing over them while dragging. Selections are not removed by releasing the mouse, so you can also add selections. Drag selection is useful for making ordered selections. Three selection modes are available, Always New, Additional, and Deselect. It is used in combination with each selection tool. Hold down the shift key while selecting to invert the selection, add selections, and deselect selections. The selection order can be reversed by pressing the space key or this button. Although these tools are used to make selections, it can be a daunting task to select a large number of performers in a given order. There is a useful tool to help you with the selection process. Turn on Auto Order, which selects the performers in order from the first selected performer to the nearest one. This is useful for selecting straight lines and curves. Skip function allows you to skip one or two performers in the selection process. This feature can be used not only for straight lines, but also for a variety of other situations, as it is calculated based on the order of selection. Selection can be easily undone by right-clicking. If a selection is unintentionally released, you can use the back function to return to the previous selection immediately afterwards. However, if you continue to work, it is time-consuming to select in the same order again. In such a case, you can copy the selection order by pressing this button. You can then use this paste button to select the performers again in the copied order. These tools are useful to select performers in a box. The order of the selection is automatically changed as shown in the figure below. The direction changes with each click. By using inversion, you can select any pattern. However, these tools are only effective if they are aligned at exactly the same interval. Even if they appear to be aligned, they may be slightly out of alignment. In such cases, you can press this button to align them exactly to the point.
Let's take a closer look at the effect of the selection order. We will discuss the use of the Arrange Shapes tool in more detail in the next lesson. But as you can see, the order of the selections changes the movement process. There are other ways to make selections. In the menu, Select, there are various tools that allow you to select one performer in advance and then move him or her to another performer. Select, Common, in the menu allows you to select parts, sections, etc. together. Selection Spot Size allows you to change the cursor size for track selection. Selection is basically the same for sheets and counts. Only rectangular selections can be used in subareas, but additional selections and deselections can also be used in combination. The menu item selection also provides a convenient way to select counts and sheets. Other basic selection operations are the same, such as selecting text, images, D-lines, etc. This concludes our lesson on selection tools. Thank you for watching.